Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Laurence. I thought I could do a little vlog today. I haven't done a vlog in so long. I don't know why, because I like watching vlogs and I'm trying to film videos that I like watching. But I also like art hauls and stuff like that. It's just I can't film an art haul every week because I have a budget. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that I could do a little art vlog today because we're living in an exciting time and is that there's only two pages left in my main sketchbook. Yes, you heard correctly, only two pages. So this is very exciting to say the least. I know that you were very excited as well. I can't blame you. So we're going to finish these two pages. I'm hoping today or tomorrow. I think tomorrow is a bit more realistic. Going to finish these two pages. And then you know what time is going to be. Also an exciting time. The time where we film the sketchbook tour. Ah, sketchbook tours are so fun. And the reason why I want to finish the sketchbook soon is because i started it exactly a year ago in august 2022 and how fun would it be to finish it in august 2023 so yeah that's what we're gonna do but i just came back from a camping trip so i have to put some things away i brought a couple of art supplies not a lot of stuff so i could show you what i brought and also the drawings that i did there the drawings and paintings but it's more paintings than drawings yeah so i'll show you what i did there and i'll show you what i brought and then we will have some fun drawing and painting so i put all my stuff in this tote bag let's just talk about some sketchbooks and papers that i brought i brought this watercolor paper pad from strathmore it's a weird shape, 6 by 12 inches, 400 series. It's a good paper, it's acid free. I did not use it. I don't tend to use this very much, I tend to use it for tests. But I thought maybe, maybe this would be appropriate for a camping trip, I don't know. I also was with other people, so I thought, what if we all want to make art at the same time? I have to have enough paper for everybody, so I thought somebody might want to use this one. Uh, it did not happen. Then I brought this one. This is my Arches watercolor paper pad. It's a hot press paper, 300 GSM. It's very good paper. And since it's hot press, it's very good for drawing. So I did not use it, but my boyfriend did. Created some nice abstract artworks. Then I also brought this one. It's the same thing as the little paper pad, but in a different size. So this one is 9 inches by 12 inches. I did not use this one. I brought too much stuff. I brought my main sketchbook, which I used. So I'm going to show you later what I did. And I also brought this little sketchbook. This is a Royal Talents Art Creation sketchbook. I never know the size. It's, it's quite small. It's very handy. And did I use this one? I think I did. Yes, I did use this one also. So I'll show you what I created. And then, what did I bring for art supplies? In this little pouch, I have a pencil sharpener. I have two watercolors. I have the, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this name. Grand Butcher Artist Watercolor in the color Camium Yellow Pale. And I also have Daniel Smith Undersea Green. I thought it would be a good color to use during a camping trip and it's not in my palette so I brought it and I used it a little bit and I have also a couple of random new color two pastels I use some of these as well all right and then oh garbage then oh I also brought this watercolor palette I brought my camping cup this is a collapsible cup that I use to put water in when I do plein air painting it was very handy. Oh, I brought some tape and some paper towels. In here, I have a couple of brushes. In this other pencil case, 
I have my watercolor brush and I have some watercolor pencils. A couple of different colors, but I also brought my Intense pencil kit as well. So I had these. And finally, I have my watercolor palette. With a lot of beautiful colors. So I had I had enough materials honestly to to do everything I wanted to do. I also bought my phone holder with a tripod because I wanted to film some reels and I did not because I did not have the connector to connect this to the tripod. I forgot it at home. So it did not happen. Oh well. So I'm gonna show you what I created while camping this weekend. It's not a lot, but I'm still gonna show you. So one morning while cooking breakfast, I had the chance of painting this. This was the forest behind our tents. Very cute. And I was trying to do it really quick, a quick sketch and keep a minimal color palette, which I'm glad I was able to do that. And I like it. It's fun. Is it a masterpiece? I don't think so, but it's a very cute, fun page. And then in this sketchbook, I also have this one. This is based on a picture that I took there. Initially, I wanted to draw a bit more of this scene, but I drew this tree so big that I had to kind of zoom in in one area, which is good. Here again, I had a very minimal color palette and I did this drawing very quickly. I was waiting for another painting to dry. So while waiting, I did this one. So it took about maybe 10 minutes. So it's very fun. I like, I like the result. So that's it for this small sketchbook. And in this one, I did not do a lot. I did this painting. It's also based on a picture that I took there. I wanted to work quickly. I wanted to be loose. I wanted it to be a bit minimalistic. So I think I did pretty good here as well. At first I thought I was beating my paper up too much, but it turns out it's just a granulation of the colors that I chose. It's kind of a weird effect on this type of paper maybe, but I'm not mad about it. I think it adds some dimension to the clouds. So yeah. And we can see a little bit of the reflection of the clouds in the water right here. So I like it. I was able to represent the values pretty well. So I'm glad. And on our way back, I did a kind of a, a car painting. It's my second time doing this. So I was just looking around and incorporating some elements that I was seeing outside, making up some elements as well making the colors up. So it's a blend of landscapes that I saw on our way back in the car. I like it, it's pretty nice. I like the perspective. I started by drawing the mountains, adding a couple of layers of mountains, but then I wasn't really sure what would happen in the middle. Then I started working on this area right here. But at that time, I didn't know how high this area would be and it just, it just happens. It looks like you're a bit higher here, then it dips in a valley and then you have a little lake right here and then it goes back up in the mountains. Yeah, I like it. Oh, and here I added a little farm. I don't know if you can see it. So cute. And now we only have these two sides. This one is uh, just regular paper, but this is mixed media paper. So we're gonna work on this. Hopefully finish this sketchbook soon. For this one, I kind of want to stay in the same camping trip. So I'm going to attempt painting this landscape. It was very pretty. It was uh, the only hike that we were able to do because the weather wasn't good. It rained a lot. It was very cold. So we did only one hike, but it was so pretty. So I think that's what we're going to attempt today.
I bought some stuff from the collab between Lee Ellickson and Sad Shrimps and I'm so in love. When I saw this collab, I had to buy some stuff from them. This is my dream collab. So I saw it and I was like, yes, yes. So I got some stickers, but I feel like they gave me more stickers than what I bought. I think I bought like three stickers. I don't even remember which ones. I know this one for sure because it's a little landscape from Lee and I think maybe I bought this one also the little devil kissing a frog and maybe this one but they also gave me two more stickers these two I also got some postcards which I don't think I ordered so it's like extras very cute And I got the butterfly socks. Let me show you. These are so cute. I got two pairs, one for me, one for my sister. Oh my God, I just realized. I use them most likely while doing art because there's a blue stain here. It's probably some paint that was on my floor. <laughs> Whoops. And the other one is one side is red, one side is blue, and this one is yellow and green. So cute. So these are my socks. Yeah, they're very stained. I don't know what happened. Both of them are. Anyway, so these are my artist socks. And I bought whoop, the tote bag. It's very cute. And there's this little charm right here that is a sad shrimp signature. Today is the next day, so I'm going to finish this and hopefully finish our last painting on the other side of this page. And then this sketchbook will be complete. So far, I really like where we're heading. I like the fact that the trees in the background are a lot less detailed than everything that's in the foreground. So I think we're going to keep it that way. And we don't have much to finish, to be honest. So I don't think it's going to be that long. So let's go.
Okay, so it's day two and I just finished that first painting. The little forest path it was a lot of fun to do. I thought that I would use my watercolors way more, but turns out I pretty much only use my watercolor pencils. The only watercolor that I used was my yellow ochre, just because some of the greens that I was using were very intense, not the most natural greens. So I found that adding a little bit of yellow ochre while mixing my colors, just toned them down a little bit, made the colors a bit more natural and also added some depth to the color palette. So this is done. And now we have one more page to do. That's it. I'm kind of hesitating now. I'm wondering what painting am I going to finish the sketchbook with? I feel like the last page is super important. Some people feel like the first page is very important and they freeze before doing anything on it. And for me, it's like, it's the last page. What am I going to finish with? I think I want to do another landscape because this sketchbook had a lot of landscapes in it. And I think it would just go well with the general theme, which was an unconscious theme. It's just what I've been drawn towards in this past year. So yeah. I'm gonna do a landscape. I'm going to go through my phone, see what kind of picture I'm inspired by and just do that. So recently I did a pottery class. It was an introduction class. So the first part was hand throwing. I don't know if it's how it's called. So it was like hand building. And the second part was wheel throwing. I created this little ceramic palette mixer. I had this vision in my head. I just wanted a tray in which I could mix my watercolors. So I created that. It's not perfect, but I love it so much. I've used it and I like these little wells here and these big ones, very useful. So I did that, so I wanted to show it to you. I kept it white, but on the top here, I put some paint, which was transparent, but with colored flecks only in the this top part. I didn't want to put any paint in the wells. So there's that. And then in the throwing section, which was so hard guys. Oh my God. I created this little bowl. I thought I wouldn't keep it because the sides kind of sunk a little bit, but they told me it would be fine. So I kept it and it's not very practical as a ball but now i keep it in my studio and i put some paint tubes here that i want to play with more so it's so useful and it's so cute i have another ball that i keep in my kitchen and a little mug that i created so i'm very excited about this can't wait to do more of these okay so i went through my photos and i chose another photo of the same camping trip you can see there's a lot of different plants with some flowers here and in the background we have some trees and I like this white tree here that I want to try to represent. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. I kind of want to keep it loose, but have maybe some elements that show through. We'll see.
I don't think I'm gonna put all of them in here just because I don't have enough room and I'm finishing this sketchbook so it would be fun to put a sticker on my new sketchbook. So I'm trying to find different options. Would this one fit? Oh yeah, okay, so I think this one has to go there because it's the only one who fits. Cute. I wish I had a small sticker that I could put here. I think I have stickers in here. I could put this scientist right here. Hmm, but then this one doesn't fit if I do that. So cute. I finished my sketchbook. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my God. And I love this last piece so much. It took me way less time than the first piece. And somehow it's exactly what I wanted to create. I wanted to do something that would be quite abstracted, but that had some elements popping through, like some leaves, some plants that would be not abstract and I didn't really have a plan going into it I just like applied some colors make some colors and that's it and I love the result so much I think it's a perfect piece to finish my sketchbook I feel like it really shows how far I've come in my art journey in this last year huh I'm so happy and I use my palette that I made myself to mix my colors. So there's another fun thing. Now, I have to choose my next sketchbook. I don't think I'm going to paint anything in it today. When you see this video, I'm going to be up north in Nunavik. I am going there for a few weeks for work. So I don't know what the internet situation will be there so if you see that I have not been answering any comments I've been pretty much offline that's why but I will be coming back I'm there for about a month so don't worry I'm coming back I keep getting distracted by this little guy here so cute he's very happy 
we just ate, so it's very is full. So I had a look and I thought I would have way more options than what I have. Turns out I have three options, but two that I'm seriously considering. So let's start with the one that I'm not really considering. This is a Hanny Mueller watercolor. It's not even a sketchbook, it's like an accordion book. So there's not a lot of pages in there. The paper looks amazing. My idea is that I would like to use this sketchbook for a special project, or if I want to have a specific theme or something like that. It's not something I would use for a general sketchbook. That's not the vibe. Because of that, we're going to put it aside. The other one that I have is a Stratmore mixed media sketchbook. This is the same type of paper that I was using in my current sketchbook that I just finished. It's just that this one is a soft cover. The one that I just finished is a hard cover. But before that one, I was using this exact one. So I know it already. I know I love the paper. It's a bit smaller than the sketchbook I just finished. So I think I'm not gonna go with this one because I wanna try something new. And the other one that I have is this one. This is the Stillman and Burn Mixed Media Sketchbook. The Zeta series, a size that I haven't used before, 8 by 10 inches. And the paper is so white compared to the paper that I had in the Strathmore. It looks so good. So I think this is the one we're going to go for. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. And stay tuned for next week for the sketchbook tour. So exciting. Okay. Peace.